Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 56 in chapter 25. Chapter 25 is about electric currents and resistance. There we look at the time-dependent voltages and determine its RMS voltages, right? And then you can see two equations is given. First one is a definition about RMS voltages. It looks like it's a square of the integral for the V and the T, right? So it looks like this one. And in first situations, we can see this time-dependent voltage is a sine wave and it's given at zero, right? And the first thing is so straightforward. You need to find the RMS voltages, so you need to do this uh, function, do the integral about V with T, and this V is given at this function. So you just need to input this time-dependent voltage in this function, look like this one, right? So VT is equal to this uh, sine wave, and input this sine wave inside, do, and then you can say V0 is a constant, so you can take it out and do integral with this uh, sine function. And uh, check your mathematical handbook. You can solve this uh, integral very easily at zero. Th you can see the function looks like this one, this term. Lower limit is zero, upper limit is t. Simplified, you get answer zero. This is the definition about RMS voltages for the alternating voltages, right? Yes. The second situation is this time-dependent voltages become positive square wave voltages, right? And the function look like this one. So also uh, very straightforward, you need to input the VT in this function, right? If you input it inside, you can see we just need to look at the half of it, just from zero to period T over two. Right, so in this part, the voltage is V naught. So with this part, we input the V naught inside. The integral becomes a zero to t over two. Right, mm -hmm. and uh, you can see V naught over two is a constant. Take it out and do the integral. We get function look like this one and simplify it. We get a final answer there. Thank you.